So, I'm backpacking in the forests of Washington, North Cascades National Park. Oh my gosh, I, I can't film right now. This is just straight elevation gain. <clears throat> I'm also coming off a of cold, so I'm not having fun. But it's supposed to be good views at the top, so it'll all be worth it in the end. Fingers crossed. I'm just gonna film later. I'm out of breath, but I'm gonna push on. So, found kind of a nice spot to sit, take a break for a minute, catch my breath. I'm here in the Pacific Northwest again. I was at a wedding last night, and as is tradition, I stayed up way too late, didn't get enough sleep, but that means I'll sleep like a baby today in the tent. I just want to get up high and get some, you know, sweeping vista views of some really cool mountains because they're just very impressive out here. Let me show you. Let's see if this has enough dynamic range. Oh yeah, you can see those mountains in the background. So it's an absolutely beautiful day. Got some scattered clouds in the sky. A little hazy because of some wildfires. So hopefully that doesn't present too much of a problem. And obviously a lot of bugs. They're just flying all over. Oh man, are you kidding me? Check out that view. Absolutely stunning. Oh, so I've broken out into this kind of cool meadow. Man, 360 panoramic views of this. Just... Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, here I am, set up with my camera, precariously on this ledge. And in the background there, we just have that real cool alpine lake. In my opinion, this scene isn't exactly, I don't want to say photogenic, it's just not super conducive to a landscape because it's, I don't know, it's just like missing something. Here's my opinion on landscapes. This is an awesome view, but if I took a picture, it would just kind of look like, like anyone's picture who came up here. You know, there's nothing really powerful about the image other than the landscape itself is super interesting. When I kind of am presented with the situation I need to find I like to find a subject and put it in the image so a really interesting plant or tree maybe some rock formation. Earlier I actually used the trail as a lead-in line on one of my images. Now normally I don't like any man-made things in my landscape photos if it's like a purely a nature shot so I don't like power lines, I don't like roads, and I don't like trails in my image. But this trail is kind of a cool lead-in line, and I decided to put myself in the photo. And when you add a person into the photo, yeah, you're no longer in the realm of landscape photography. Now you're like, it's more of like a travel photo. But it's, an, it's still like a really cool photo, and people can sometimes give... Ah, mosquito. People can give a lot of scale to an image, you know? It just puts... Uh, just that person just adds some perspective to the landscape. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a 10 second timer, run down to that rock right there, and get myself in a photo. It's gonna be a selfie. And honestly, looking back at those, they just weren't that impressive. I feel like they don't do the landscape justice, like at all. I'm gonna keep trying to hike up to this ridge though. Once I get to the top, I mean, I've already seen all the views, so I just need to find somewhere to put my tent. Maybe I should put my tent somewhere and get a sweet picture of the tent. That'd be good. That I want a good tent picture. Alright, I'm gonna keep climbing. Okay, I'm at the top. It's just another awesome view. I'll point you away from the sun here. What is going on back there? You see that lake? That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Just the most unfortunate thing is there's a wildfire going on somewhere near apparently because there's so much haze. I don't actually smell any smoke, which is good because then my lungs would be just getting destroyed, but I can just see the haze in the air and uh, it's making, it just makes everything look worse. You know, nothing looks as clear and as sharp and just the visibility is nowhere near as good as it should be. Oh gosh, is that not the best camping site ever? So I am set up here with a composition. 
let me uh, walk you through what I'm looking at. So we basically have this big rock here in the foreground. I'm using a vertical composition. And uh, anytime I have a vertical composition, I really like those lead-in lines. There's something to just draw the eye from the bottom to the top of the image. So this rock's going to be in the bottom left, and then we have kind of all these bright rocks that just kind of come up along here. So all those will be in the image. So yeah, your eyes will get lit up here, and then of course, just this big mountain. I am getting a little bit of lens flare right in here. So what I'm going to do is take one image where I'm just kind of covering the corner of the sun like that and that will take out the lens flare. Take another image where I kind of expose for the sky and then I'll just mix them together. That way I'll just get rid of that orange lens flare in there. Yeah, but I think this composition is set up just how I want it, making sure like the rock isn't touching the edge or anything. Nothing's like sticking in, no trees or plants that are going to annoy me later. I'm very I'm pretty happy with this landscape image. I mean, it just shows how beautiful and stunning this landscape is. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think it's going to be a good image. The moment is nearly here. That sun's getting close. Sun's getting very close to hitting that mountain. Well, here we go. I'm going to do one exposure now, just for the foreground while there's a little bit of soft light. And then I'll do one exposure with the sunburst in the sky once that sun gets just like a touch lower. And that's really all there is to it. No, it's just it's so vast, you know. The scene is so vast. So how do you how do you capture it? What do I do? I'll figure it out. I see potential for a selfie right up here. Maybe I'll do something like that. Camera. I'm gonna go stand on that rock. Nice panoramic view. Ten second timer. And uh, here we go. Two, three. Oh, that's a long way to run. You know, when I first got into landscape photography, I was very much, I don't know what to call it, a traditionalist. I only like traditional landscape photos. I didn't want people, I didn't want the trail, I didn't want any man-made objects in the photos. I just wanted nature, landscapes, you know. And I'm so much more open now to taking pictures of people, stuff like maybe my tent or me in the image, obviously. It really just adds, it can add a lot. When you have scenes like this, I've realized, it's just spectacular mountains. And uh, it's, it can be very difficult. I, I struggled actually today a little bit even just trying to find a composition of like to capture these mountains. It's really difficult. But all you have to do is throw yourself or someone else in the photo and it just kind of, that makes the image. I've expanded my frame of thought as I've grown as a photographer. I was just in awe at some of the scenery today. I think the views I saw today, and I'm not exaggerating, may have been some of the best I've ever seen in my life. I really had a, a mountain craving, you know, I needed to get in the mountains, and this satisfied it, definitely, for sure. I'm so content right now. But anyway, that's it. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember, get outside, take lots of photos, most importantly, have fun. I'll see you next time. Woo!